Lots of us are shopping online more than ever before, so it is important to shop safely, to understand your online shopping rights and to know what you can do if something goes wrong with your order. Let's watch Peanut shop online for new shoes that need to be delivered to Peanut's address and see what we can learn about online shopping. The first thing to do is to make sure you're shopping on a secure website. This will help to protect you. You can check if the website is secure by looking for the padlock icon in the website address bar. But remember to double click on the padlock symbol and check that the certificate is not out of date and the name on it matches the company behind the website. Also check for the HTTPS in the website bar as this will tell you if you're on a secure website. If you haven't bought from the retailer before, do your homework by researching the online retailer. Check out consumer reviews to see what they think about the retailer and the service they received. Be aware of fake or fraudulent reviews. Lots of oddly similar reviews, all recent reviews, reviews lacking in detail or no reviews at all. Finding information on delivery is different for each website. Generally, information for delivery can be found at the bottom of a web page under Delivery or Returns. Consumer law says delivery restrictions must be made clear at the beginning of the online shopping process. If the retailer does not deliver to Northern Ireland, it must tell you at the beginning of the process. Any extra delivery charges to Northern Ireland must also be made clear before you complete the order. Also check out the delivery time scales. Remember, the goods must be delivered within the agreed time frame. If no time frame is agreed, the goods must be delivered at the very latest, not more than 30 days from the day after you complete your order. If you need the item by a certain date, perhaps as a birthday gift, leave enough time as there may not be a next day or express delivery option to Northern Ireland. Retailers should make the full cost clear. The price should include all costs, including the delivery charges. You might have to pay for the cost of returning the goods, so it is always good to check this before you complete the order. However, if the retailer's terms and conditions or returns policy does not explain who pays for returns, the retailer should cover the cost of postage. Keep an eye out for updates from the retailer. Many tell you when they have handed your goods to the delivery company and the expected delivery time scale. This is called a cooling off period and starts from the date the goods are delivered. It's the period of time you have to change your mind about something you've purchased from a distance. However, there are some types of order you cannot cancel. For example, customised goods, perishable items, and if you remove the wrapping from goods sealed for hygiene reasons or to prevent copying, such as CDs or DVDs. Remember the retailer is responsible for the condition of the goods until you receive them. If the item does not arrive, contact the retailer to see if you can resolve the matter. You have the right to cancel your order and get a full refund. Your contract is with the retailer, not the parcel operator, so it is important all complaints are directed to them. If the item arrives damaged, contact the retailer immediately to explain that the item has arrived damaged. Retain evidence of the damage, for instance, take photographs of the parcel or box that it was delivered in. If the goods are damaged, you can request them to be repaired or replaced. You'll need to tell the seller within 14 days of taking ownership of the goods that you want to cancel. The easiest way to do this is by emailing them so you have a written record. The retailer has to refund your money within 30 days at the latest. 
However, they can wait until the goods have been physically returned to them or they may issue a refund upon proof of postage to confirm the item has been returned. Not a lot of people know that the retailer must refund the total price of the goods, including the cost of delivery. However, if you paid for a premium delivery service like Next Day Delivery, the retailer only has to reimburse the cheapest delivery option. Shop around. Consider using a price comparison website for parcel deliveries. Always get a proof of posting which shows the date, time and destination address to prove you've returned the goods. Take photographs that prove you packaged the item correctly and sent it to the correct address. Did you know the Consumer Council can help you find a local shop where you can send a parcel? Check out our Parcel Pal NI tool to find your nearest parcel shop or outlet. Always include your address on the back of the parcel in case of problems with the return delivery. If there are any delivery problems after you have returned the item to the retailer, the retailer is responsible for sorting this out with their appointed delivery provider. Let's recap on Peanut's online shopping journey so you shop safely online, understand your online shopping rights and to know what you can do if something goes wrong with your order. Shop from a secure website. Check delivery options and costs. Get the full cost of the order including delivery. Check who pays for returns. Ensure you receive an order confirmation. Cooling off period, change your mind. Get help if something goes wrong. Cancel my order. Pay for return postage. Use the retailer's return service. Northern Ireland consumers can still buy online from both GB and EU retailers without incurring additional customs or import fees. For further information on shopping online since the 1st of January 2021, please check out the Consumer Council website www.consumercouncil.org.uk forward slash EU exit.